and lonesome here at the church without you. We love you very much and miss every single one of you. Uh, I have written a, a message that I would like to convey to you in person because we can't see each other any other way. And it will also come out in, uh, in a printed form. Uh, you can also take time and read. During this great and holy week, we remember our Lord's passion. He suffered and died for us. His suffering and death were a witness to his unconditional love for us. One of the many trials which he endured was to be mocked as the king of the Jews. Those who mocked him made a mock crown of thorns depicting his royalty. They didn't understand that his royalty was not a royalty of this world. By being nailed to the cross, they actually, they actualized his royalty and rulership not only of his heavenly kingdom, but also of this world. They nailed him to a cross while nailing themselves out of the kingdom. They thought that by killing him, they would separate him from his followers. In reality, his death to this world In his death to this world, he became united to his father. We follow him. The world, however, continues its effort to separate us from him. It wants to claim us as its own. He came into the world to give humanity a second chance, a chance to re-enter paradise, a paradise which was rejected by Adam. Once again, he gives us a choice. By accepting him as our king and our God, we are given access to his kingdom. We are given the opportunity to become his children once again. This is the gift that we give thanks for by following his instructions. His instructions not, are not for those in this world, but for us, the children of his kingdom longer belong to this world. Even though we are still in this world, our ruler is Jesus Christ. Our Lord taught us that we cannot serve two masters. We must the scriptures tell us how the hierarchs and teachers of the Jews loved their self-importance. They loved the beautiful robes that they wore. They loved being apart. Their role was to unite God to his people that they were doing everything, that they were doing everything to the people from God. The ways of the world, the ways towards enemy is to separate humanity from God. When we see separation, we see the work of our Lord's Lord. Interestingly enough, the word corona, which means crown, this crown, like a crown of thorns, has become the ruler of the entire world. It has been placed upon our Lord's faithful in an effort once again to separate us from him. It mocks our faith. For those who are faithless or who have forgotten our Lord's word, for panic and extreme measures, Disease and death have always been the ways of life while we were still in paradise. We chose to experience good and evil. We are now as many us. This is the way of the world that we chose. This is why our Lord gives us a second chance. He allows us to experience our choices and then gave us a second opportunity to choose, to keep us as its children and gives the false idea that we are capable of curing all disease, of overcoming death, and of giving us eternal life. It promises us exactly what God has promised us from the beginning. We think that the world is the source of technological advancements, while it is merely God fulfilling his promise. God is the source of all technology. 
We are the users and abusers of it. We think that we discovered it, and therefore we can use it in any way we wish. wish. The world has many technology it's gone. The world looks to technology to save it, rather than looking to the source of technology for salvation. The separation from the sacraments. I ask you to remain united to our, to our Lord. When we are united to the Lord, we will be united to each other. Do not allow this new crown of mockery to distract you. Remain faithful to the end. Be patient and endure all things. Know that whatever happens, God is with us. This week is the message that we remember. Is the eternal and universal message of the resurrection. This is why his resurrection is proclaimed all over the world. He does by separating us. The world and death have no dominion over us. We are children of paradise and will always overcome the ways of this world and remain faithful even unto death. Our crown is a heavenly one, not a worldly one. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. It tells us, do not fear what you are about to suffer. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. My friends, I hope and pray that we will all be praying together during this week, that through the visual media of live stream and Facebook and all of the other ways that we will be able to somehow be united, uh, at least in spirit. Know that I am praying for you and all of the community, and I hope and ask you all to pray for me and for those who are here continuing to work. God bless you all, and I pray that you have a wonderful and blessed Pascha.